This tutorial demonstrates how to use R to create a single cell next generation clustered heat map or NGCHM like the one shown. Briefly, the key features of single cell NGCHMs are that they let you combine reduced dimensionality plots like TISNI and UMAP plots with clustered heat maps for interactively exploring the underlying data, and link with Pathway and other biomodule tools to explore the biological properties of the clusters. A link to a short video describing the capabilities of single-cell NGCHMs is included in the description below the video and at the top right. This video uses our NGCHMR package in the context of our RStudio container. A link to an introductory video on this system is included in the description below the video and at the top right. Specifically, we are using the single-cell variant of our NGCHM RStudio container. This variant includes the Bioconductor package and a variety of common single-cell R packages, including the single-cell experiment package. The R commands for creating the NGCHM are included in a knitter script that we will step through in the video. The knitter script and resulting PDF are available for download from our website. Links are included in the description below the video. The data used to create the heat map was obtained from the paper A Single Cell Atlas of the Human Healthy Airways by Marie Dupre et al. 2020. Links to the paper and the data download location are included in the knitter script. For this video, we will also use the single cell experiment data structure that is widely used in the analysis of single cell data in R. Note that you can also create single cell NGCHMs using other data structures if you wish. To set up RStudio for processing the knitter script, select the appropriate options dialog from the tools menu, select the S Weave tab and check that knitter is selected as the weave tool and that the clean auxiliary output checkbox is not selected. We will start by reviewing the function GenHM, which generates an NGCHM from a prepared single cell experiment object. The steps in the function are, get the desired assay data. Compute a row-centered copy of the assay data. Create an NGCHM with two data layers. Add the visible column covariate bars based on the metadata in the single cell experiment object. The function add column CVs will be defined later. Add hidden column covariates for each reduced dimension contained in the single cell experiment object. The function chm add reduced dim is a new function in the ngchmr package that adds a reduced dimension attached to a single cell experiment object to an ngchm. Its parameters are the ngchm, the axis to add the dimension data to, the single cell experiment object, the name of the reduced dimension data to add, and the maximum number of coordinates to add. Next, we override the default NGCHM clusters with hierarchical clusters that we have pre-computed and attached to the single cell experiment object as attributes. Finally, we specify the type of the row labels to enable gene name specific linkouts. Except function definitions, most fragments in the script have the eval parameter set to false, so we can define this and the following functions in the script by sourcing the input file. This function will be executed near the end of the script after the data has been input and processed. To save time in iterative development, the script creates and saves several subsets of the data. We did that earlier, so here, we'll just load it. On the first run, the downloaded data is input using read dlim. The metadata and marker gene table are small and load quickly. The gene expression matrix is much larger and takes a long time to load. Once it has, we immediately create a single cell experiment from it. The first column of the loaded matrix contains the gene names. The script also computes the gene means and standard deviations and includes them in the single cell experiment object. The object is saved to a different file from the subsetted data. To speed up development and testing for this large dataset, we create a series of progressively larger subsets of the data. The first contains just 1,000 randomly selected cells and the 1,000 most variable genes. The second contains 3,000 randomly selected cells and the 3,000 most variable genes. This is the heat map displayed at the right. The third contains 10,000 randomly selected cells and all the unique marker genes in the file provided by Dupre et al.
The next step calculates several forms of reduced dimension data, including principal components, TISNI, and UMAP coordinates. Recall that the GenHM function described above adds each of these components to the NGCHM. A relatively large number of principal components are generated so that they can be used in place of the unreduced data to speed up the TISNI, UMAP, and hierarchical clustering computations. This section of the script adds the metadata to the NGCHM as column covariate bars. To avoid a lot of repetition, a simple color table containing the colors to use for each covariate is created. The helper function set colors adds an entry to that table for the specified covariate. For simplicity, many of the color ranges are set here using R Color Brewer. In practice, there will likely be specific color assignments for each value. The function get covariate creates an ngchm covariate for the specified metadata column. Discrete and continuous covariates are processed slightly differently. Care is taken to remove any discrete values that by chance aren't included in a random subset of the cells. The function add column CVs is used by the genhm function to add the metadata columns to the heat map. The covariates are added to the ngchm in the desired order. Since cell type is last, it is the default covariate for coloring the reduced dimensionality plots. The last preparatory step before creating the heat maps is to generate hierarchical clusters to use instead of the default NGCHM clusters. To reduce the time and space required for clustering, the hclus.vector method from the fast cluster package is used. It is applied to the same reduced principal components data that was used to speed up the calculation of the UMAP and TISNI coordinates. The rows are clustered using the same approach. However, the principal components for the row axis need to be computed here since they weren't earlier. Finally, we can generate the NGCHMs and export them for viewing. We can also output a summary PDF of the NGCHM. The first page of the NGCHM PDF is also included in the PDF created by this script. This tutorial has described how to use the NGCHMR package to create a single cell NGCHM. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more tutorials like this. Please contact us with any questions, bug reports, or suggestions for improving this tutorial the NGCHM viewer, RR package, or RR studio containers.